friends, this is it! The big show! Tonight is the night! All of our parents are here to watch! This is so exciting! Are you guys ready? Yes, absolutely! For sure! Not really. Wait, what? What was that last thing you said? Well, I feel like we're forgetting something. Forgetting, forgetting something? something? No way! Headsets, check. Clipboards, check. Costumes, check. Do you know the lines that you need to say on the stage? Yep. Check. What, what could, could we possibly, possibly be forgetting? forgetting? Guys, I just feel like we're missing one thing. Well, what is it? Peace. Peace? Like a piece of cake? I don't think we should be eating cake before the show. I love cake, but then my tummy feels like it wants milk and we don't have milk. And if we had milk, I'd have to take a nap. And this is definitely not a good time for a nap. No, not peas. Peace. Like being calm. Oh. oh peace. peace. Well, how do we get peace? Well, I think we should take a deep breath and then pray for peace. Yeah, that's a great idea. God, thank you for letting us be a part of the big show. Please give us peace. Amen. Wow, I do feel calmer. Yeah, me too. Yep, now we have all we need. Time to start the show. Hey, that's my line. Time to start the show, everyone. Places. While we get the show on the road, let's check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Esther, chapter 5. So far, we've learned that in a land called Persia, King Xerxes needed a new queen and chose Esther, who was a Jew. Haman, the king's top service, disliked Jews because Esther's cousin Mordecai would not bow to him. Haman had an evil plan to make all the Jews go away, but Mordecai asked Esther to help. Maybe if she talked to the king, she could change his mind. But Esther had to be very careful going to see the king when the king did not call for her. That would be bad news. Esther was brave. She went to see the king anyway. The king was so happy to see her. In fact, he told Esther he would give her anything she wanted. So she asked if the king and Haman could go on a special dinner with her. Haman was happy because the queen had chosen him to come to a special meal. At the dinner, the king asked again what Esther really wanted. She said she wanted to have another dinner with him and Haman the very next day. So they ate again together one more time. And at the second dinner, King Xerxes asked again what Esther wanted. She asked the king to save her and her people. The king was angry and shocked. He didn't even know that her life was in danger. Who would dare hurt the queen and her people? She pointed at Haman. Haman knew he was in big trouble now. The king changed Haman's rule so that Esther, Mordecai, all the Jewish people would be safe. Everyone had peace again because they weren't afraid or worried anymore. The story of Esther is a wonderful example of how God gives us peace behind the scenes. Now I know that friendship is truly the best gift of all. And curtain down. That's it. We did it. Great job, everyone. Yeah, that was so much fun. I was a little nervous. It felt like I had butterflies flying around in my stomach. But as the show went on, I felt something else. It was like the butterflies landed. I felt calmer. What was that? It's peace. We prayed for it. And God gave it to us. It's been fun learning and growing with you. Have you ever felt like you needed peace? Remember the story of Esther and the big show we just put on. Remember, God gives us peace behind the scenes. Everyone places! Stage left! Stage right! Hands up! Hands down! Are you ready? 